What's up, bruh? What's up? What's up, guys, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're gonna do some grocery shopping, and today I will be showing you my weekly grocery shopping, my basic groceries that I always have in my refrigerator. That's a hard word. In my refrigerator. <laughs> in my refrigerator during one week. And, like, as I said, my basics, what I always buy, and what I always go to when I want to stay healthy, when I want to have a balanced lifestyle and when I'm training hard and need my food to be able to get stronger. That's what we're doing today. Yay! Are you ready for some shopping? We are. We are! Let's go! So we're doing something different today. We're not gonna do a regular grocery shopping video. I'm gonna have a GoPro. Now we're ready. <laughs> Tomorrow is the Swedish midsummer. People are eating eggs and <laughs> fish and potatoes. <laughs> That's basically a Swedish mid midsummer. And um, apparently, just because we picked a late time to film, everybody else is also in the store. <laughs> so let's see. Well, let's see how this goes. I feel so fancy with two cameras on me when I'm grocery shopping. <laughs> okay. First stop is a bread, and this is the one that I'm using for my breakfast. It is a unsweeted um, whole, whole wheat bread. Whole wheat bread. Taking that one. Asparagus is really, really good as a vegetable when you're cooking food, really good. And some salad. We're gonna take some cucumbers. When I do my lunch and my dinner, I always have cucumber and I do a salad. So I'm gonna use these two. This is something that I'm currently craving and I actually like this pepper better than the normal one, than this one. So I always buy this one. It's really good and it tastes a little sweeter. So that's why I really like this one. Taking two. That one's better. Taking two. I'm gonna have some baby tomatoes. Baby tomatoes, perfect for your salad. And then you see that one? It's an extra price on the watermelons. The hello, how you doing? Something new? You know what I'm going to do? Seriously? Yeah. 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 If a watermelon is good, you should knock on it and it should sound like it's what is e-hauling. If it makes a really noise, like a noisy sound when you're knocking it, it's ready to go. So this one is really good. So I'm gonna take that one as a snack, as a snack. That's the best thing with summer. Sweet potatoes is something that I'm eating at the moment every single day. Potatoes is really good when you want to stay kind of low in carbs, uh, but still get the carbs in. Um, so I'm eating a lot of sweet potatoes and I also love to have it to roast it in the oven. So sweet potatoes can be one of the best carbs I know. Really good. We like the sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna take these, and these are some kind of a delicacy uh, potato. I really like them because they're a little smaller, so they roast really good in the oven. So this is normal potato, basically. So now to something that I can eat a whole oven plate of, and that is parsnips. If you haven't tried to roast this in the oven, you have to try it. It's 
the best thing I know. When you want carbs, but you want a little bit less calories, parsnips are really good, really good. And you can eat so much. And okay. And then we want a little bit of broccoli. Taking two. Dun, 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 dun. And then we're gonna pick some avocado. It's always so hard to find good avocados. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna take one of these because these are a little bit too. Ugh. I think I have two. I have two avocado for my mashed avocado toasts in the morning. I'm gonna take some bananas, also a really good source of carbs. And I'm eating this when I have my last snack with some low fat yogurt. This can be the absolute best thing with summer in Sweden, and that is Swedish strawberries. Amazing. Yay! That's just a plus, and that's just a plus. Have to have. So now to the low fat yogurt. I'm eating this to my uh, dinners and also as my last snack of the day. And this is a low fat yogurt. It's also a lot of protein in this one. So it's a really good source of protein that I add into my day. I'm not gonna have only one. So I'm gonna have about three of them. And then to the eggs and to my omelets in the mornings. I always take a big box of the eggs. This is also a really good tip that I'm using for my dinners from time to time. Uh, it's a taco sauce and I'm taking the medium one. Really good if you want to spice up your food but still keep the calories low. This one is really good. This one is a lifesaver and it's also a tip if we have this in Sweden you have it all over because Sweden is always the last ones to get stuff. So this one is really good. It's um, sweet, like it's um, uh, stevia uh, sugar. If you have a bowl of granola and a little bit of uh, low fat yogurt, you can spice it up with a little bit of this one and it tastes a little sweeter. I really like this one. Taking that. This is a spice that I'm using every single day and it's uh, lemon pepper. Really good to have on your omelette or if you want to spice your salad. It's really good because of the lemon. I'm gonna take this one as well. I just wanted to show you what spices I use and this is also a really good one. This is a uh, herb salt. Really good also to have on your uh, vegetables. This one is actually a spice for when you're eating crisps but I'm using this one together with some low-fat yogurt and a little bit of water together and you have the most amazing sauce and healthy and also low-fat sauce to your meals taking that one as you know I am a vegetarian so I'm eating corn so this is the one that I'm using for my protein intake for my lunch and dinners. And when I don't eat the minch, I'm eating tofu. So this is something that me and Robin just tried out and it's feta cheese with only three pros, pros, percent of fat in it and it actually tastes really good so i'm gonna take this one as well just to spice up i always have at least one of these in my freezer big 
blueberries and they are actually big so that's why I really like them big blueberries and uh, one kilo of frozen raspberries as well this this can probably be something that I cannot live without and something that I'm eating every single day love them and perfect when you want a quick snack you just take this one together with that one and a little bit of the stevia and a little bit of the banana and we're all good okay I have an addiction and it's Pepsi Max and this is something that I also cannot live without um, I know this is not good but that's life and this is reality so <laughs> I'm gonna take this one We're in the chocolate section, as you can see. And I'm here because I want to tell you guys that if you have a balanced lifestyle, it's okay to treat yourself during the weeks as well. It doesn't have to be a weekend. As long as you stick to your plan and your program and your nutrition in the week, you can treat yourself. So it's, it's totally fine. So if you are treating yourself in the middle of the week, don't make it a bad thing because you're working hard you're training hard, you're slaying in the gym, we deserve a little chocolate from time to time, you know. So I'm gonna take one of these. This is, um, this is my favorite one. Uh, this one, and uh, I'm gonna take this one as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this will be my treat. Which one, one is, which one is for Robin? Oh! Man! <laughs> really excited for this one. I'm gonna snack on this as soon as I get home, along with these. So, Robin is not gonna get any. <laughs> okay guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that my grocery shopping can give you some inspiration for your refrigerator and how to stay healthy in a balanced lifestyle when you're eating good, you're eating as you should when you're training hard and when you're trying to be sassy and build muscles, you know. That's how we do it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a workout, grocery shopping, hair tutorial, you know, everything. Stay tuned for our next video. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Question is, should I be a good girlfriend or a bad girlfriend? <laughs> I'm gonna eat them myself. One of these and then I'm ready to roll back home. Maybe two of these. We, we don't know. We don't know yet. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I mean. I mean, wow. You see this? Wow. That is epic. Fantastic. Every, every good word you can imagine and you can come up with is the roche. Roche, do you say Roche? Roche. Okay, listen to the sound. Dude! What the f Wow! Okay, now we're ready to go.